One of my top stories today is the Bilkis Bano case, where we've seen another twist with the Gujarat government admitting in the Supreme Court that it was the center that cleared the remission in sentence of the convicts in the Bilkis Bano gang rape and murder case. Now, until now, the center, i.e. the home ministry of this country, has kept silent on the Bilkis Bano case. Now we know that after a panel of the Gujarat government decided to give remission of sentence to the convicts who had spent 15 years in jail, the center quickly acceded to the request of this panel, almost, it would seem, in a mechanical manner. Reason, good behavior, said the Gujarat government panel. But the fact is that many of these individuals have been repeatedly on parole for almost over 1000 days over this entire period. And some of them have been accused by Bilkis Bano and her family of continually threatening and harassing them for the case that was filed. For all of you who don't know, Bilkis Bano's case was one of the most horrific during the 2002 Gujarat riots. She was gang raped. Her three-year-old child was killed with a head bang and seven members of her family lost their lives. This, therefore, should qualify as, dare I say, rarest of rare case. It cannot be simply wished away by saying the frenzy of the mob led to it. Now, the law of the land does allow governments to look at such cases and grant remission of sentence after a certain duration of time. The question is, was there proper application of mind? Or was it that because elections in Gujarat are taking place, because these individuals are influentially connected to right-wing groups like the Vishwa Hindu Parishad, who, remember, felicitated them when they came out of jail, is that the reason why this case was fast-forwarded? Why was it fast-forwarded despite objections by the Central Bureau of Investigation and the special judge of the CBI court? If they saw it as a heinous crime, if they saw no evidence of any remorse and there hasn't been a single statement of remorse from these convicts, why did the center step in and grant remission of sentence without due consultation or so it would appear prima facie? Which is why I want to ask today, the BJP is silent, the center is silent, the Ahmadmi party which wants to make a mark in Gujarat elections is silent. The Congress is speaking out. But I get a sense that the silence of many of our political parties and influential people is because for the parties, they've got an election in Gujarat and the search is for a Hindu vote. My friends, in the end, I want to say this. When it comes to cases of gang rape and murder, to see them in terms of vote banks is just outrageous, is repugnant, morally repugnant. There's a moral factor involved here. And truth of the matter is, while there will be those who will engage in the usual water boundary, what about a gang rape here, some other part of the country? The law must apply in all cases, but there are certain cases that can be used as an example to ensure that our political class does not get away so easily. They must answer. Bilkis Bano deserves complete closure and full justice. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.